Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We've got a new Lego Disney princess set to build today. This is Rapunzel's best day ever. Now that's a very big call, I think. Her very best day ever. We will see, we'll build it. We'll see what she does on her best day ever. And then we will determine whether she really did have the best day ever. <laughs> okay, okay, we've got our sheet of stickers. We've got our instruction book. We've got our pieces. We've got everything we need. So let's start with the Rapunzel mini doll. Now, she has got a new pattern on this skirt here and the color between her skirt and her top is slightly different. That's interesting. And she's got her, well, her very signature long, long blonde locks and we're gonna put some very pretty flowers in it. Now, I would like to compare this new Rapunzel mini doll to the Rapunzel mini doll that came with the Creativity Tower and they're quite different. They've even changed the facial expression, the color of the eyes, the eyebrows, I think that the Lego designers are trying to make her look a bit more like, I don't know, the version from the movie, but I don't know which one I prefer. Which one do you prefer? I just can't decide. But anyway, look, Maximus is here because, uh, well, you know, Maximus is in this set. Check out his eyebrow and his eye. He's very cross looking on this side. But if we spin him around, look, He's got quite a calm eye and eyebrow on the other side. Now we're just looking at his cross side, but that's okay. Rapunzel knows how to get around Maximus. <laughs> and he's now got his middle, so that'll probably make him feel a bit better. And Rapunzel is starting her best day ever with a fabulous Maximus ride and then a vault over his head. Wow, that is a great start to the best day ever. Okay, Maximus and Rapunzel, you're gonna need to move back a bit because we need to start this build. We need to start on her little tower. The base is down, so we get to do our very first sticker, which is some beautiful climbing flowers up the side of the tower. There, that's very, very decorative. You can see on the inside, we're gonna have a bit of room to put something, but on the outside, there's some hay for Maximus. And, hmm, oh yes, look, two, two thingies of hay. It's a big stack of hay and a flower. Of course, there's a flower, there's lots of flowers and a bucket for some water a water bucket for a good old Maximus. There you are, Maximus. You are well catered for here at Rapunzel's Tower. Now we need to build something for the inside of the little tower. We've got another sticker, a little flower. Like I said, lots of flowers. And this is a stove top. There's our red hot one and some something to some sauce or some know some dressing over there on the side and of course we need a saucepan to put on the stove to cook on and to hit Flynn with if Flynn were in this set when he does the wrong thing and a croissant to eat good we've got the kitchen sorted out now we're moving up to the very next level we put another sticker on here stand up on Maximus Rapunzel so you can keep an eye on the second level and we've got a rug here that stickers oh, I can't handle that that's not straight I'll fix it up there, that's better. I like all the checkers, it's like a stained glass mat. And this is her little balconette, little tiny room up here. This is just a miniature version of her tower. Let's build it up. And what? there's not much room in there to put anything. Here's a storage area for a little tiara, for a princess tiara. So that's where she stores her princess tiara. And that's basically it. That's all we can fit in this room, apart from the very decorative mat down there on the floor. She climbed up through the window to check it out. It really is just a display area for Rapunzel. She fell out. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Now she's got her tiara on. She looks very princessly. Princessly, prince, princessly. I have no idea. That's not a word. Okay. <laughs> okay, on the outside, we can see her through that little balcony window. It's very pretty. And of course, if we're gonna make it prettier, we're gonna put some flowers on. These are nice, they're blue and purple and fuchsia, dark pink. One on either side of the balcony there. And there, that room's done. And now we just need to top it off with a little bit of a roof. This is not a very complicated set. It's not got a huge amount of detail in it, but it looks lovely for display. For the tower top. It is seriously a miniature version of the Creativity Tower. You know what? We might get the Creativity Tower out, which I've already built, and we will put them side by side and have a look at this set next to the Creativity Tower. 
Hmm, okay. All right, we're up to bag number two. So the little tower is done. And I missed a couple of flowers on the side. How could I? We didn't have enough flowers. Now we can get on to bag number two. And bag number two holds the swing outside the tower where Rapunzel first dips her feet in the water. She can swing through the water. There's the water. <laughs> Can't you tell? It's smooth, it's blue. And we're gonna build the poles up on the side so it's like a swing, it's a tree swing. And we get to have a sticker on one side. Ah, uh, look, Flynn Rider's wanted poster with an, quite a big nose on it is uh, nailed onto one side of our swing tree here. And I can see a spot to put something on the other side too. We're gonna to be doing that soon. We need to build up our hoists here for the swing, our supports for the swing, and a flower down here. In fact, this is the very fancy magical flower that lets Rapunzel regain her powers. Uh, and over here on the right hand side, we've got some pots of paint, some bottles of paint, because Rapunzel is going to paint a picture of Maximus, which is not on straight. I need to fix that. Good, there we go. Now our canvas with Maximus's picture under the tree. He's looking very pretty <laughs> for a Maximus. And she's got a green paintbrush that clicks on the side. So Maximus can stand over here and there we go. Rapunzel can paint his picture. We'll do that soon. But we need the top part of the swing that's gonna actually make it, well, swing. <laughs> There you can see they're on a hinge and there are of course some pink flowers on it. We'll install it up here and well it doesn't look much like a swing yet does it? We need the actual seat and some poles to hang off it so let's put them together. And there's a lovely starburst for the seat. There we are the swing seat and we're going to clip the poles in place. Good. And then we can click them up here on our hinged part. Quite substantial hinged part. And hop out of the way Rapunzel. Now it looks like that. And she can slide in from the back. She can hold on with one or two hands. She's quite secure with just one. And she can swing. The swing mechanism is pretty stiff. But that's alright. She's just going to have to swing harder then. And there are a few little branches that we need to put up on the top of the swing just to make it pretty. And so we know it's a tree. <laughs> it does the loop the loop that swing too. And this tree grows apples, which is very handy because Maximus likes apples. So there's an apple up there for Maximus later on. There, see, that's it. That is the whole part here. There's an extra little tiara in the set, which we can put on Maximus. <laughs> He's gonna love that. King Maximus but it's sort of out at a strange angle. Maybe we can put it on the top of his tail. And there's an extra paintbrush as well, just in case we misplace the first one. So that's handy, I like having extra little details. Here we are, here's the whole set with the mini little Rapunzel tower. She could get out of that so easily. That's so close to the ground. And a swing and Maximus, so we can have a bit of a play with this. But before we have a play with it, let's put it side by side with the Creativity Tower, like I said, which comes with Flynn. And the Creativity Tower also comes with the Chameleon Pascal. So let's have a look at the difference in size. The Creativity Tower, it is really, this this one is just a miniature version of the Creativity Tower, isn't it? So we'll turn them around, have a look inside. Cause inside, look, see, there's another oven and another stove in the big tower. There's a painting area in this one. And there's a little balcony at the top, little balcony at the top, um, where you can fit much more stuff in the Creativity Tower. I'm baffled as to why Lego redid, basically redid the Creativity Tower set. It's just a bit weird for me. Uh, but well, that's all right. I'm sure they're gonna have a great time. It's time to get on with Rapunzel's best day ever. She is up here in the tower and Maximus has come out to play. So what are you gonna do? Yes, of course you are. Such a tiny tower, you can get out of that with no problem. All right, Rapunzel, Maximus, off you go. Oh, okay, so first step, our first stop is to paint Maximus's picture. 
He looks very pretty in that picture. And then Rapunzel can have a go on the swing with Maximus pushing her. He's got his cross eye forward. He just looks really cranky. And he's pushing her with his tail now. Hmm. And now it's Maximus's turn on the swing, which is only fair they should all get to have a go. And he looks like he's having a wonderful time. And who is this? Who is this? This looks just like the guy in the wanted poster, who Maximus has been chasing after all along. You'd better run, Flynn. Maximus has seen you. <laughs> and Rapunzel, well, yeah, okay, you can go too. Well, what are you going to do? You've still got to finish your best day ever. I wonder what they're going to get up to now. <laughs> I just don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click like. Check out some of my other silly videos and I am going to have a new one for you very, very soon.